away they go. Hard to start here. Very, very relaxed and gentle. He's out there. Sabini is on his shoulder, but inside them, but no so at all. He's going well as well. And on the uh, inside in lane number three, Eckhart Portrait is going well. Here comes the Botswana oh, bullet. Yeah. He's flying now. He's going to take it. He's going to take it so easily, so relaxed. What a race and what a run. Nine. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome back to another video here on TXE Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. As I said in the beginning, wow, wow, wow. Let's see Little Bogo is definitely the man for 2024. It is literally only the beginning of the track season outdoors and he's been dropping bangers left, right and center. Now today at the ASA Grand Prix, he drops a world leading time in the 200 meters running a 19.94 seconds into a negative 1.1 meters per second win whoa 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 now that is the time that let's see the tobogo clocks and that makes it a new world leading time this lot in jamaica's oblique seville from that number one spot when i tell you track is let's see little boga is on a tier he's on a tier when i tell you that let's see little boga is a man on a mission he's definitely a man on a mission now when i take this 200 meter 19.94 seconds in a negative 1.1 meters per second wind no consider how young he is as well this is literally the fastest season opener he's been progressing incrementally each year so it's no surprise that this is his fastest season opener but still it is very impressive a sub 20 for your first 200 meter run for the season in a negative 1.1 meters per second win is absolutely phenomenal now this comes on the heels of let's see let tobogo running a world record in the men's 300 meters running a time of 30 30.69 seconds and then shortly after that he also clocked a personal best in the men's 400 meters running 44.29 seconds and now he's out there running a 19.94 seconds time in the 200 meters now check is interestingly when you look at all these times they have one thing in common and that is separate and apart from you know two of them being personal best for him but these times are also world leading times so yes he holds the world lead slash world record in the men's 300 meters all time best that 30.69 seconds and then the 400 meter time that he clocked this season the one time he's run it so far he's clocked a 44.29 seconds a personal best and, and a world lead and then we also move to that 200 meters first sub 20 of the season clocking a 19.94 seconds for a world leading time so he actually holds three world leading times right now heading into what will be the rest of the outdoor season and what we're expecting to be a phenomenal olympic games come summer now on the heels of this performance i'm even more assured that let's see little bogo is the man for 2024 i have been talking about it i've been saying noah Laz needs to watch out for that 200 meters that 200 meters is literally in my opinion the sweet spot for let's see little bogo now i know a lot of people favor him as well over the four but as it stands now his main events are the 100 meters and the 200 meters so for me when you take into consideration consideration that 300 meter world record and also that 400 meter personal best that sweet spot in my opinion is clearly the 200 meters he's already gone 19.50 seconds and that was last season now when we take a look at his last year times in terms of how he opened his season he opened his season in miramar this is like windy city and he dropped at 20 seconds right on the nose but listen to the wind the wind here was a positive 1.9 meters per second wind yes so think about it he runs a 19.94 in a negative 1.1 and this is the first run of the season and last year around the same time he ran well slightly before in terms of the dates if you look at it but he ran a 20 on the nose with a positive 1.9 meters per second so in my opinion let's see little bogo if you weren't convinced with the 300 meter world record or the 400 meters um personal best then for me he's definitely much more stronger this year and as well in my opinion also fast i'm expecting to see a super personal best as well from let's see little boga in that 100 meters 
Now the question becomes when he runs a personal best in the 100 meters, what type of time will it be? And will it be able to contend against some of the guys that are expected to also go fast this season? And I'm talking 9-7 fast. We're looking at the likes of Anoa Liza, Christian Coleman. We're also looking at potentially a Fred Curley and our very own Jamaican as well. I'm looking at two Jamaicans. I'm looking at, you know, Kishane Thompson. and I'm looking at Oblique Seville. I'm expecting those guys to be able to be in the conversation this season as well. So the question becomes how fast he will be able to go over the one. But I know the speed is there as well. Well, just based on this particular performance, but yeah, the strength is definitely up there. The strength is saying one right now because again, this is a 19.94 seconds in a negative 1.1 meter per second win. So I want to know if Noah Lyles right now is shaking in his boots. I want to know right now if Noah Lyles is nervous. Or is he the man that lives in the moment and enjoys competition? I actually believe that Noah Laz enjoys competition. And the more phenomenal the performances are from his competitors, is the better he will perform. So let the games begin. I am excited to see what Noah Laz is going to come out and do in response punt too let's see the tobogo literally having three world leads slash world records slash you know world best slash personal best as it stands right now for the beginning of the 2024 season also i'm looking out for the likes of area knight in the two kung fu kenny fred curly christian coleman just to name a few so there are a few athletes out there in the 200 meters that stick out also zarnell hughes as well looking up to see what he'll be able to do in 2024 but with that said track is i am 100 percent Excited for Let's See Little Bogo. Now, I know a lot of you all are believing that, hey, I'm riding the Let's See Little Bon Wagon just to take down an American. No, I actually enjoy sports and athletics. And if I see or feel in my spirit that something amazing is going to happen from a particular athlete, I'm going to speak on it. And the more I watch Let's See Little Bogo, is the more impressed I get. And the more I feel it in every fiber of my being that he is going to become a force to reckon with in 2024 and beyond. For me, this is literally really just the beginning for him i've talked about how much i've likened his coming of age in my opinion this is his coming of age to what i saw from you seeing bold in terms of when you compare the ages as well this is definitely that moment for let's see little Boko to come out on the world stage and stand up top and shine very brightly for botswana and i'm here for it it doesn't matter which country that athlete is from if i feel it in the fibers of my bones then yes i'm going to speak on it and let's see little Boko is giving me those amazing vibes he's giving me i'm here to snatch everybody's wigs well men don't wear wigs but you get what i'm saying right he's here to literally dominate and i'm definitely here for it but i'm also excited for the competition as well can't wait to see when these guys start going head to head on the circuit and see what phenomenal times we get out of that and then it all comes together at the olympic games who is gonna walk away the big man well for now we're still waiting to see how the season progresses but for sure we're excited by the performances that we've seen so far Anyway, trackies, let me know your thoughts now in the comment section below. Let's see Little Bogo bangs out another one. This time, it's a world lead in the men's 200 meters, 19.94 seconds in a negative 1.1 meters per second win. Let me know your thoughts. Like the video and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.